you, Catherine, your journalist, excellencies, friends, partners, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I am grateful for participation in, in this uh, historical event, Reykjavik Summit of the Council of Europe. I sincerely thank all of our partners, Madam Secretary General, and especially the Presidency of Iceland, which was able to organize and successfully hold such a meaningful forum. Today, Europe faces extraordinary challenges in the face of the Russian Federation full-scale bar barbarian and brutal aggression against Ukraine. This aggression is an affront to all our values and principles, and to the foundation of the European architecture, which was built to avoid a repetition of the atrocities of the Second World War. I am convinced that in these dark times for our continents, the organization's unwavering commitment to these values and principles is more important than ever. We are all convinced that international justice must provide its ability to punish the criminal and restore justice. The aggressor state, all international criminals, from the highest leadership to the common soldier, must be held accountable for their crimes. Everyone realizes that instead of extensive discussions about peace, we would need clear guarantees of non-repetition of aggression. This is exactly what the 10 steps peace plan presented by Ukraine and my President Volodymyr Zelensky is aimed at. We have a clear action plan, so now is the time for its implementation. The establishment of the register of damages caused by the aggression of the Russian Federation against Ukraine is without doubt a historic decision that will allow us to begin the process of establishing justice. A clear Council of Europe summit message in support of further efforts towards the establishment of special tribunal to punish Russian political and military leadership for the crime of aggression is extremely important. By concluding my statement, I would like to thank all the friends of Ukraine for the effective manifestation of solidarity and wish the next Latvian presidency every success. Thank you so much, dear Katrin, dear Maria, ministers. Thank you so much.